Hello and welcome to this podcast about what it's like to work at Babe Station. questions for me and um, maybe I'll have some answers in time. I'm quite quiet here at Babe Station today, not many calls, uh, don't worry, I think I might just take my bra off. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> so, welcome. And first of all, can you outsmart the angels? Can you outsmart the angels? Take the quiz and find out. It was a birthday, my birthday, last uh, type week. <laughs> said week. And we're going to have a special birthday quiz, um, which you can do the quiz in America or at home. And I've just said about the quiz and that will be happening in about mm, 20 centimeters time <coughs> oh sorry that was my lap <coughs> I've got old problems I do like my lap it's actually my favorite body part because when I stand up it disappears just like my money if I don't sit here all day, then that disappears too. So I'm going to talk a bit more about um, Babe Station. Um, it's it's one word. It's not um, Babe apostrophe S Station. It's um, uh, it's a really fun place to work because every day is the same. And some of the girls here look like beautiful lamps. You know, my, my father rang up once by accident. He didn't realise it was me at first. He thought he'd been put through to a goblin. He said, Kath, you can't still be taking off your clothes. 42. I'm 42. He meant me. Oh, sorry. There goes my lap again. I just have this bit of yogurt. Um, well, some days at Babe Station it can be a bit dull. Some days it's quite boring, like pointing at chocolate. Um, so another news, um... Crystal is leaving us. She's one of the regular girls. She's off to France. For love, no less. He's called Michael Jackson and she met him on a bus. And she says he's not the one, but he's got lovely arms. Mm, I stayed in last night and painted a table grey. And another, what are the new? Oh, this unbelievable thing happened to me! Um, so, I'll do some emails. And then, oh, sorry, I haven't said what the thing is, have I? Um, I saw a gold bug. Yeah, this was, um, yesterday. Um, I just come in and I just gone online in the pink room which is one of our most popular rooms and I was just lying there with my friend in a little bra and 
little bottoms and and then this gold bug just crawled over my hand. It wasn't a bee, it wasn't a wasp, it wasn't a hornet, it wasn't a moth, it wasn't a leaf, it certainly wasn't a mayfly or a mosquito. This was yesterday, remember, so what's a mosquito doing in yesterday? It wasn't an aphid, wasn't a midge, wasn't some bulging gnat, wasn't a pea weevil. What was it? It was nothing. It was nothing I'd ever seen before, anyway, at least. I mean, yeah, I am stressed, but it was as real as the mustard in this yoghurt. Mm. Oh, I'm just going to brush my hair. Ow! 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 Oh, nice. So some of you have emailed in some um, some questions, okay, for me. So here we go. Oh, uh, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to. Sorry, one second. Sorry. <clears throat> I'm waiting for your call, Grumpy. Yeah, I like my smile. Call the number below now for some naughty fun. I don't even have a mortgage and I'm free to talk right now. Don't go to sleep, have pretend sex with me. Look, I'm on your little screen, I'm the colour of a fuck vegetable, alright, yeah. That's it, you are the best. Get your fresh crap. Here, I'm a small feminine dog, back when God was a woman. I ruled over you, yeah. I eat biscuits for my supper. I steal them from the tin when nobody's in no real. Oh, yeah. Call the number below. I stink of water. by dipshits. I'm sorry about that. I just have to... So we, have to <clears throat> we have to record a message every 15 minutes here. Or we get paid in buttons. I don't want that. Okay, so now we're just going to do um, conscious of time and do some emails. So, hi, Kath. Someone's written in. Hi, Kath. Love your podcast. What's your favourite TV programme and why did you say that one? Um, uh, okay, I have to say that my favourite programme is um, Everyone Loves Raymond. And the reason I like everybody loves Raymond is because I think that all the actors in it think it's real and I like that okay another one Kath do you have an inkling of how you will die and would you like to be buried burnt or boiled um I'll probably die in Kent and I'd like to be buried but um, totally naked and face down um, in the coffin and that's an open casket um, so people can see and then the funeral program would be placed in the slot that my bum cheeks provide okay one final one Kath, what's your favourite word? Um, sect I think Okay, so it's time for the quiz now that we've all been talking about, and I'm just gonna have print. print I'm just gonna print it out. I'm just gonna print it out the quiz. No, that's too loud. No, that's too loud. No, that's too loud. That's too loud. We're gonna have to do the quiz. I'm sorry, but that's too loud. We're gonna have to do the quiz. Next time, yeah, yeah too bad. Um, so can you can you outsmart the angels? We'll find out next time, I guess. Um, I love this yogurt. So 
what can we do instead? Let's have another, we'll have another question then, another email. Hi, Kath, happy birthday. Oh, okay. Um, Kath, what do you hate about getting older? What do you hate about getting older? Mm, well, I'd have to say my frown lines. <laughs> don't like them. And the great big handfuls of back on my back. I don't like those. Um, what else do I like? Well, I don't like that you start to realise what your limitations are. And you begin to think about what you won't do rather than what you might do. And your eggs start to die. You've seen things before. You miss the past. You long for your innocence back. You grow fears like algae. And you start to see patterns. And you see others thrive. And you see others tumble. And you see how you've changed. And it happened very gradually. And it happened very silently. And then you finally realise that... Even your backup opening a bakery in Halifax plan, making holes in donuts that you won't even ever eat is bullshit, and it all means spending even more time with Mark. And you see people younger and prettier than you have a life that you should have had. And then finally, your body betrays you. On the plus side, you don't really have to keep up with technology as much. I don't think that pressure is still. There, I certainly don't feel that pressure anyway. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Um, and all that remains for me to say is I hope you enjoyed um, the podcast this week. And we'll be doing a quiz about the angels next time. And for those of you that were listening last week, the band I was describing was Maroon 5. Okay? And there wasn't a prize. It was just a bit of fun. Um... I've written. Yeah, 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 no, come here, yeah.